generally you want to define your own constructors, but in some rare cases, or actually depending on what kind of programmer you are, you can rely on the compiler to generate a few constructors for you. One of those is the parameterless constructor. It takes no arguments, sometimes known as the default constructor. And then um, there's also the copy constructor, which I'll cover in another video. In this video, let's talk about the parameterless constructor. Basically, the parameterless constructor is the, param is the constructor that takes no parameters. So when I say cow, cow here, notice I have a cow and it has a moo count, but I've not defined any constructors for it. Now, I've actually done this several times in other videos. I've just kind of made these classes and constructed them and didn't really mention to you that the compiler in the background is creating a uh, constructor for us. The constructor is pretty much useless, but uh, here, let's just let's see here. I can say c out cow dot moo count in line, and then let's see if I actually uh, run this code, it'll error out, um, basically saying, "Hey, uh, you're using cow without initializing it." So, so that's just a debug check here. If I change my uh, build configuration to release, then that checks taken out and uh, you notice I just get garbage here because it just assumes whatever value previously existed on the stack because this cow is defined on the stack space okay so I mean it's there I don't have to initialize cow here I don't have to define a parameterless constructor in fact if I had to basically a lot of my objects would look like this and would do nothing okay in fact I'm actually curious now I know I'll still get garbage if I do it in release mode but I wonder if I do it, if I do it in debug mode, I'm pretty sure I'll still get that runtime check saying, hey, you didn't initialize something. No, I didn't. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So I didn't expect that behavior, but now I know. Either way, I get garbage. We don't want garbage. Yada, yada, yada. Now, the compiler will define this constructor for you as long as you have not defined any constructors. So once you define one constructor, all bets are off. You do you no longer get the parameterless constructor. For example, let's let's make this this a non uh, default constructor or a parameterized constructor. Let's just say it's got to take an int value. Well, notice we we gain this red squiggly down here saying, "Hey, um, no default constructor exists for cow." And that's because we defined our own constructor. And the compiler is no longer going to auto-generate that constructor. We can generate it, again, if we wish to. And sometimes you just need to do that. Or you can have it do more productive things in here, like we could say moo count get zero. But, you know, either way, um, we can define it. But I just want you to drill in your head that uh, once you define one constructor, the compiler will no longer uh, generate the parameterless constructor for you. Uh, notice here I could just say five if I want to, just to because I need to pass an argument here. Anyway, that's the rule.